system going on in the legal system that's a little is completely opposite to what's natural. When we're when we're talking about um, everybody's native to the earth, and so the idea that you're or the thought that there's only certain people that are natives, um, we all basically came from the earth, and that's you know a simplistic fact. Uh, people can debate it all they want, but you definitely were, you know, made from the earth. So, the um, concept of native is everybody. But you see, in the world of legal, you can't be native because their concept is about customs, duties, taxes, uh, impost uh, for impostering a name. And therefore, they give you what is called a alternative name. Okay. So, um, the surname is an alternative name, but when you look at the origin of the native name, or your na what is native, Noah Webster's 1828 made it very simple. So, first definition, produced by nature, original. In fact, um, in Noah Webster's 1828, he will speak of your given name or your God-given name or your Christian name as your original name. So, original means new. Okay? So, again, that would relate to those that have read Revelation 2, uh, dealing with receiving a new name. Uh, your original name is your new name, uh, but that only comes to knowledge of those that are not in the world of sin, debt, and fiction. Uh, so we have to understand what's going on in the truth and the, the warnings that are in the Bible that are telling you about truth, not about fiction, uh, but still warning you about your enemy who walks around trying to deceive you and devour you. So native is produced by nature, original, born with the being, natural, not acquired. So what's happened here is your the surname is like after acquired property. You you assumed it, um, but it was it was not yours for private use. Um, so therefore, the minute you attached yourself to that, you're now in the problem of the concept of what is natural and what is unnatural. It can't be artificial, as it said here. It's it's based on. A very simple concept, produced by nature, original, natural, not acquired, okay? So it can't be, now number two definition, produced by nature, not factitious or artificial. Okay, well, in the world of fiction, a fact in fiction is called factitious. That's why I have to come up with the fictionary, so we can just simply be able to understand when we're talking in what is truth versus tra talking in fiction and legal. So you're, uh, you cannot be a native when you have something that's artificial. And because the surnames were artificially assigned names for the purposes of trade and commerce to deal with money, it was a civil title or civil condition. Civil relates to the money also because civil court is about suing for money and damages. So your given name is native, but you're using an alternative name and that alternative name, that title is the one that's got you into trouble. So hopefully you, you can absorb these things. We're going back to the rudiments of this and, and trying to uh, possibly uh, bring us through the first 400 videos, but try to summarize it in shorter videos because the earlier videos, if you have to go back all the way through 400 videos, I'm a little concerned. And I hope people are, are, have started from the 2020 videos on um, and are watching them because they're now, they're, they're more in a sequence of the understanding of what's going on in the moment. And because I think the audience now that's listening that weren't really there in numbers back in 2011, um, because there's someone crapping in their sandbox or their backyard right now, are not too happy about it. Um, they found out that there's urine and manure in their sandbox and they don't feel very clean anymore. So they want to wash themselves clean out of this debtor world and, and find out 
uh, what it is actually to walk for the first time in truth. So we hope that um, uh, this video has helped you, but try to gather this, uh, these definitions. You can go to the Noah Webster's 1828. It is online if you don't have the physical book. And, uh, of course, you can go to as many uh, dictionaries that you can find. It's nothing wrong with comparing them. Uh, but I would stay away from small little mini dictionaries because generally they're designed not to give you uh, much knowledge. Uh, they're there for someone who just wants a quick fix. Yeah. Um, the alternate name, surname, is a family name. Why did they pick your, the surname as family name? Okay. Um, Good question. It's come out of uh, someone watching the filming here asking, uh, wh what is this? Uh, why are they using family name uh, in conjunction with this surname? Well, mainly because the origin of the civil system, these are civil registrations that are going on when we're talking about what the Registrar General does. They're doing civil registrations. And so these civil registrations go back to what were the Romans determining the word family to be from their perspective and family meant stock but it also meant what was material registration they were registering what was material or the world and they had to give something in fiction to do that so the romans were professional at make-believe and titles of make-believe and therefore, family, in their concept, meant the master at the top who controlled the title, right down to the lowliest slave or servant in that household, using his name. So, we've kept that. That's gone through the feudal system. The feudal system, basically, you're under the feudal lord's title. And therefore, uh, you, were, you, were, you did not have a name that belonged to you. It just eventually... Uh, mingled into a licensing of the state uh, allowing you to use those titles, but you were still under the control of a lord. And that's why the system of uh, title still uses that when they're, um, you're in a house uh, renting even with money, you're dealing with a landlord. Um, so it's a feudal system, but they're only licensing you to use those titles um, you're always paying homage or worship to those dead lords um, when you're entering into their courts and their courtyards. So uh, I, I, all I can say is that um, you need to go through as much due diligence on the words. Uh, and that's why we're really pushing um, the words so much because everything is in the word. Unfortunately, the legal word is not there for your, for your benefit. Um, the legal word um, is there for a lie. It represents the one who controls the lie, um, where the whole world, not talking about the earth, the whole world, the material world, the mammonite world, um, lies in the power of a very evil, evil power source spirit. And he wants your spirit in his dead body because he knows he's going to die and his time is short. So he's turning up the steam right now, and uh, it is a suicide scheme, and he needs you involved in it. So be careful. Do, uh, don't jump over the videos. Do as much as you can. Um, and we're not going to try to load up 20 videos a week or 15 anymore. We'll try to keep it to that because we may be working on some other projects, which will allow you to call in, and we'll have more of like a podcast. So uh, hope that this video helped, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. So